Hi, I'm Vicky and I am the owner of Ladybug Pest Control. For those of you who follow me on social media, um, you would know that I've just recently taken on a new technician. And um, as a boss, um, I do muck about sometimes and I think sometimes you need to break your staff in and stuff. And so what I've decided to do is that I'm gonna play a real big prank on the new technician and I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. And it, it is quite scary because he is my best friend as well. And so it could really go wrong, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. But basically what the prank is, is that obviously he's got a brand new van that I've provided for him and he takes it home every day, every um, night after work. And so what I'm gonna do is, is this evening, I'm going to go to his property and steal the van. So when he wakes up in the morning, he's gonna think that it's been stolen. And it's, it's just about looking at his reaction and how he's gonna deal with that. Cause I wanna see how loyal he is to Ladybug Pest Control. <laughs> but like I say, it could really go tits up, but we will be filming this throughout the process and seeing his reaction as well at the end of the day, cause I'm really gonna string it out on this one. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So please keep watching. So, uh, we're up by the technician's house, just being dropped off by the cab. Um, so we're gonna go and get the van. I'm really nervous, I have to say. Uh, my boy's come and help me. <laughs> we don't look at all suspicious, do we? <laughs> so uh, we'll let you know when we've got the van. I've got, the, I've got the, I've got it. I've got the, I've got the, I've got the van, and I'm absolutely cacking it. I'm absolutely cacking it, but we've got it. Oh my god, I'm panicking. But um, we've done it. <laughs> we just got to see his reaction now tomorrow. <laughs> That's it. Turn it off. I just, I feel so nervous. I'm shaking. My teeth are chattering. My legs are like jelly. Oh my God, I can't believe I've just done that. I feel so naughty. <laughs> I just feel really naughty. Oh my God, I've never done it. I was just absolutely shaking. Look at, I don't know if you can see, but I'm just absolutely <laughs> shaking. And, my, and I'm verbal diarrhea, so like, yeah, anyway. You can stop. I'm still really shaking, I have to say. So um, I've, back. I've now uh, dropped the um, van off in its hiding space and I've now picked up my car because uh, I had all this planned earlier so I dropped the car off in the hiding place earlier um, so now I'm driving home and um, I probably won't sleep at all tonight because I'm gonna be so worried about his reaction um, but anyway stay tuned <laughs> because <laughs> it could all end in bloody tears Right, he's just started to call me now. It's uh, just gone eight o'clock, well, it is eight o'clock now. Right, I'm gonna answer this call. Hey, Pidgey! I think the van's gone. What? You got it. What? The, not, the van ain't here. What do you mean? Well, we ain't you... here, have you got it? No, I fucking ain't, why would I do that? Are you, I, are you, fucking, I... are you fucking about with me? No, I'm serious, I ain't here. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, I'll have to call the trekking company then. Get on the trekking now, yeah, find out where it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's not panicking as much as I thought he would. Pidgey, which is the new technician, um, has just called me. So now I've got to delay a little bit of time and just pretend I'm on the phone to the tracking company um, so that they can track the vehicle and um, obviously contact the police. I'll have to string it out a little bit. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't react as I thought he would. I thought it'd be like really panicking. I'm call Pidgey back and pretend I've spoken to the um, the tracking company. <clears throat> Pidgey, Hello. Pidgey. Yeah. So I've just um, spoken to the tracking company. What fucking happened last night? Did you not lock the van? It's in fucking North London for fuck's sake. Of course it's locked. Well, it can't. How's it gone? I dropped out at eight o'clock, and it ain't there now. Fuck's sake! Well, it's in fucking North London. That's why it's not there. So that's the in North London. What? 
Come pick me up, we gotta find it. Go get oh, the the no, the trekking company have called the police and the police are now going to get it for me. Because they've got to arrest the fucking people that are taking it. They've got to try and find the people. I can't fucking believe it. I'm running around like a fucking blast fire running around here trying to find the country thing. <laughs> well, it's not there. It's in fucking North London, Pidge. Where's in North London? Well, I don't fucking know. I don't know North London, do I? I don't go over the water. Yeah, where's your tracking thing? They must tell you whereabouts it is, the postcode. Well, they, well, they're sorting it all out, ain't they? They're doing it. I thought you had it on your phone. Well, I do, only on certain at certain times of the day. I don't have oh, it on all the time. Well, fucking get it on there now, because I'm worried, I'm panicking. I've got lost my van and everything. <laughs> How do you think I fucking feel? What about all the equipment? Yeah, everything was in there. Yeah, exactly. Right, well, I'll, um, listen, just stay at home and I'll go and do all the jobs today then and um, I'll have to have a chat with you later and I'll let you know when the van comes back. Well, I'll come and meet you in the office and we'll go and do it together. <sighs> okay, now. I'm all down the office now. <clears throat> all right. Yeah? All right. Uh, Pidgey has just um, messaged me. I feel really bad. <laughs> oh, God no response from Pidgey since um, I've told him that the van is en route. Um, I, I could, do you know what? I am genuinely worried because um, <laughs> it's not about the van or anything. It's our friendship. <laughs> and I'm just so worried that he's not going to see the funny side of, of this and um, we lose our friendship and things might change i oh, just don't you know i've been best mates with him like for seven years and it's like i could ruin it in one bloody morning <laughs> so um it is scary i don't i don't mind telling you and um yeah all right it is an april fool's joke um and i've never done anything this big before i muck about all the time and play tricks on people but i've never done anything to this scale <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah we'll, we'll see what happens um you know <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see so the next the next step now is um i've got to give it a good hour or so for the van to be delivered from where i said that it is it's in barnet and when i've looked at the map at how long it takes to get back um it's about an, an hour and a half so I've got to hang about here and for wait for an hour and a half before I tell Pidgey to meet me at the shop. Um, but I'm going to go over now and uh, get the van and bring it round here, back home. But um, so we'll see what his reaction is. That will be the next video. Um, so uh, I just hope I still got a friend and a technician <coughs> after all this. Right. Hello, ladies. Hey, Jane. What? You know it's um, April Fool's Day today? Yeah, I do. Um, there's some Easter things here. There's an Easter present and a leaving present. What? Yeah, I need it. Okay, so following on from that um, previous clip, um, PG <laughs> knew it was April Fool's Day and it was a joke, but there was parts of it that thought that he thought that it was real. Um, but Pidgey isn't leaving, he is staying. Thank God. <laughs> and we do still have a friendship, which is the main thing. So, um, yeah, I won't be doing any more pranks. <laughs> Can't cope. I'll tell you what, Mills, I've had such a stressful day. This prank has really, like, tipped me over the edge a little bit. So, sod it. <laughs> I'm drinking during working hours and I don't care because I need it. <laughs> I nearly lost a friend. 